Okay, for those of you that didn't see the first video, there is a first video in this series, and I put it down, uh, the link down in the uh, uh, common area. So what I've got here is I've got the management system set up, and uh, you don't necessarily need to use anything extravagant like this or you could actually use um, a big a big container like a three three gallon container would work maybe kind of like uh, let me see if I can zoom in on that that's a I think that's a four gallon three gallon container for the uh, semi unit um, that would work great on something like this this is something that can handle a lot of volume of water and one of the other reasons why I built this is uh, keeps the uh, I've got all this filled with bronze wool, which uh, now looking back at that I would not would not do that. Um, I put go ahead and put some stainless steel wool in here because the bronze wool uh, doesn't uh, react very well with uh, KOH. I've got that in both these sides so that I don't get any sloshing and any. Uh, any uh, electrolyte out through the top. This is the outlet for the gas. So um, my idea, this is my idea on how to get 30 liters a minute and I don't know if it'll work but I'm going to give it a try. I've got a 2.8 gallon per minute um, pump. It's an RV pump. It runs on uh, 12 volts. So what I'll do is I'll just hook these up to a battery since we're going to be using 240 volts. And that hopefully will circulate the electrolyte fast enough to keep it uh, um, from completely pumping dry of electrolyte. Also getting the bubbles away from the plates so that they have room to generate more. So what I've got here is both the uh, outlets ports on the bottom here and they're going to go into the pump. The pump's going to draw in from both sides into the pump then out to the bottom of the generator. From there it's going to exit out the top of the generator through these two ports and into these ports. I can get that, get that in frame. Into these ports here. Then the hydroxy is going to bubble up and out this output. From there, it's going to go into this. This is about a gallon pretty big bubbler. Into this bubbler. It's going to go in right here. Bubble through. This one inch pipe. And again I'll put a little bit of stainless steel wool right at the top here to keep it from sloshing around. And this is the exit port here. Over on this side we've got a flash port and I wouldn't recommend even doing any any project like this without having some kind of safety device like a flash port or a flashback arrestor, a good flashback arrestor. And I do have a good one. This one here, you might have seen this in one of my other videos. This flashback arrestor is rated, um, I, I guess, up to 30 liters a minute. And we're going to have that. We'll come out of this bubbler here and into this flashback arrestor and then out to whatever project we're doing with the hydroxy. All right, now for the electronics. These are 350 volt 
3400 microfarad capacitors. What they do is they smooth out any voltage spikes that we'll get coming out of the uh, gas generator so that we get a nice clean smooth even voltage going into the hydroxy generator. I believe that they do increase the efficiency of the cell slightly because of the smoothing that they have on the uh, power going into the cell. On one end of this I've got a what is this? This is a 30 amp twist lock 240 volt plug. This is going to go into the gas generator. On a, I think I used 8 gauge wire. They're going to come in into this box. They're going to go through the bridge rectifiers and they're going to change the AC voltage into DC voltage. Got on a 30 amp breaker. Basically, this is my on off switch. From there, they're going to come out of the rectifiers, out of the box, with a positive and negative DC, right into the hydroxy generator.